Fort Park are currently building the UK's tallest and fastest roller coaster. So as you can imagine, the fans are incredibly disappointed. The Fort Park Resort has recently announced that the ride will hold the UK speed record. Broke it now. They've also announced the ride manufacturer and the official height. Yet there's one statistic that has made everyone slightly furious. The flipping ride length. Oh, I need to calm down. And on that note, to cheer me up, please do subscribe. I know there are a lot of more normal theme park YouTubers out there. However, I'm on the road to 3K. So any help would be greatly appreciated. Back to the video. Oh, and Matt Rides, the manufacturer of Project Exodus, have just dropped a POV. Probably should have mentioned that earlier. Many apologies. <coughs> So in this video, I'm going to break down all of the information available to see if this ride will be too short. And for that very reason, it would make a lot of sense for me to compare the ride duration to other popular ride durations. And would you look at that? It equates to about five oblivions, so case closed. Now, of course, I'm gonna be comparing it to Merlin's other most popular roller coaster at Alton Towers. The Octonaut. Now, of course, it makes sense to compare the duration of this ride to Nemesis, which is currently being retracked at the same time that Project Exodus is doing literally nothing. And to quickly check the POV of Project Exodus, the ride, I'll start from the drop, which is at one minute and four seconds. Quickly fast forward through that. And then to one minute 46, when the ride hits the brake run. And that is 42 seconds versus Nemesis, which, bear with me, on this POV, kindly provided by Attraction Source, link in the description, from the drop when Nemesis crests the lift hill at one minute 31 seconds. And then hits the brake run at two minutes 14, which means it has a grand total of 43 seconds in duration. So 43 seconds and 42 seconds in length respectively means that it's pretty much got the same duration as Nemesis, which is commonly known to be one of the worst rides in the world. Just to clarify, that was in fact a joke. I wouldn't want to get loads of disagreeing comments, would I? So I can conclude that the ride's duration is respectable. And I don't think we already know the track length so that's for a later video. What a great reason for you guys to subscribe. My second point touches on the intensity of the ride. And having looked at the POV of Project Exodus, you can tell that the ride experience is gonna be incredibly tame. No, of course, it looks to be very intense. So a sustained ride experience could be too much for most guests and potentially uncomfortable even for seasoned riders like myself. So we have a staring competition. And similar to that, for point three, I'm gonna be looking at the pacing of the coaster. And with it being a more compact, yet consistently high tempo ride, I'm sure it would make for a more memorable ride experience than that of a more normal hyper coaster that we're used to, such as your Shambhala's, your big ones, your other ones. Phone's going off. How unprofessional. And finally, the layout shows that Project Exodus will have a variety of cool looking elements, including airtime hills, multiple inversions, a splashdown, and a good looking first drop. So regardless of the duration, we're gonna be getting a variety of cool elements to look forward to. And that is personally the main reason why I do not think that Exodus will end up being too short. My main complaint about short rides is that they don't do as much or are one trick ponies. For example, Oblivion, although that is a well good trick. However, we now know that the layout for Exodus is trying to pack in a variety of different elements in a similar way to how Nemesis has done at Alton Towers. And as my main complaint about roller coasters with short ride layouts is that they don't have enough memorable elements, I have no reason to complain about the duration of Project Exodus. Like the video if you agree with me, and like it if you don't. And if you do disagree with me, let me know why in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Ciao.
Legends. That was good, wasn't it? Please, sir, can we have some more? You don't have to call me, sir. But here's your link. Click it. Sir Punalot would sound cool, though.